Hey everybody, Cypherboy here with Final Fantasy VIII, which I've been wanting to play for a while on the channel. Um, so this one is my favorite game. Before I mention anything else, I wanted to say that I did not want to uh, take away the music of the game because I like it as much as everyone else. However, when you do that, play the game with the music on YouTube, unfortunately, you get copyright strike, strikes and stuff, so I wanted to avoid having my channel deleted for that reason. So I went through the YouTube uh, audio studio and tried my best to find music that would fit in with the game, have the same vibe and everything. There's Alone, and uh, use that music instead. I see, I I don't know if I, I'll have to wait until the music starts up, but um, here's Quistus, sighing over Squaw's injury, as he's often injured in the game, I guess. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the music I put in for the intro to the game. I do have a different one in a different video, uh, just the intro all together with a different song, so I hope you check that out and enjoy it. I tried finding things that would be epic as far as music goes. <clears throat> you can see the white bandage on Squaw's head on the back. I don't know why he has it on the back of his head if his... Oh, never mind. I guess he has it on the... F it's wrapped around his head, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, you can see it from there. Um, so here's where the music starts. I don't think... No, I guess I had it other than music here, but... I believe it's called Mosswood as the song. And there's Balam Garden. So Mosswood on the YouTube audio studio if you want to grab it for yourself. So here's Christus like talking about the test for the uh, seed candidates. It's a pretty short full room. Cypher being reprimanded as usual. Pow! Hits the desk. <laughs> so, uh, I think I've got over 500 songs by now downloaded for the different games I play um, because I cannot use the game music so you have to have something in that place don't you so um, it was a challenge finding the type of songs I need for this game in particular but I think I did a pretty good job figuring out which pieces I can use um, got my earbud in and the music is muted so I forgot about that um, yeah, so I had to go through every single song, and I think I have a video of it before on the channel where I showed you how I keep the music organized, like what type of genre, um, and the songs below it is what's good for that genre, like um, songs that sound like they're from the 70s, 80s. Was there overworld like RPGs where you're on the uh, map on the outside of the towns? I do have Deling and Timber songs chosen, and I think I did pretty close with those two songs in particular because they sound very similar, I think, to the original. So I hope you stick with this series and 
uh, tell me once I'm able to get the so the things ready for upload. What you think about it? What do you think so far, though? Um, trying to remember the song for the intro in this video. I think it was called Thunderstorm, if I'm not mistaken. I wanted something with the odd, like the vocals, like the choir type of thing, like the Liberi Fatali song. Um, in the previous video I did, I also had the intro was the song called The Devil's Swats, which is pretty cool because it goes from the vocals and the flute at first, and then every two lines of music, a new uh, music instrument ad is added into the song, and it crescendos up into a, like a, to like epic proportions, I like to call it controlled chaos because there's so many sounds but they all go together. Here's Selfie. Um, so I decided to have Squaw play his part and just do um, like the quiet guy. He doesn't like helping people because he doesn't want to waste his time on others and stuff like that. As you see here, don't have the time. Here's a. Here's the guy with the cards that he gives it, gives you the cards for the game. Um, I don't know what this B3, B6 and stuff is because I used a Xbox controller and I don't think they have those particular buttons. So I don't know if it's a keyboard thing or not, but. pretty fun using it though with the controller. There's the little boy training. Maybe a preteen, I don't know for sure though. Could be a preteen. And I thought I taken this part out, but apparently not. So I tried keeping the tutorials out to save things out. I didn't want to bore people with that type of thing. <clears throat> I forgot who that guy is, but I don't think I talked to him. Oh, I guess I did. So I guess he's a student then. And not one of the orphans. I think most of the People here are orphans from the previous war. Or is it called the Sorcerer's War or something, I, if I remember? Or was that a different. Um, the, the previous war to the previous one? I don't remember, but pretty sure. Okay, here I do know I took the tutorial out of it. That's right edit that part out. I wanted to add it, I guess, okay I'm just junk junctioning, um, that's part of the game and play the part of the um, gameplay. It's good to know these type of things though because if you wanted to pick up the game and know how things work, that's the how you do it in the gameplay. Here I'm just choosing the abilities and stuff for the GF2. Um, oh, this song is called Missing Pieces on YouTube Audio Studio. I'll make sure and try try to make sure and put in like the song's title at the bottom of the screen later. I mean in later videos. And this part is going to be, uh, the music is called, uh, what was it called again? Um, it started with a J, I'm sure. 
Hold on, I can look really fast. Got get out of these windows. Okay. I just have the game playing in the back. I mean the video in the background. So no, let's do a different one. Go to my YouTube. Um, here it is. Squad's team random battles is called Epic Journey. So that's what the music is. And then the victory song. It hasn't played yet, I guess. Um, they're still battling. But the victory song is called Game Boy. I wanted something different for the victory part. Yeah, so whenever I get to the point of adding the voiceover to the video itself, I can go back and also put in the names of the songs. So that's what I'll do. I have to edit the video anyway, so it's the least I can do. I think uh, Chris has mentioned it the first battle, but you can click on one of the buttons at the top of the controller and it'll do extra critical damage. She says to Squall that he can do that. But a lot of people probably don't know is that you can do that with every single character, no matter who they are. So Chris is Adia, uh, Cypher, Zell, Renoa. All of them can uh, do the same thing as what Squaw does with that trigger. The trigger button, I guess I can call it. It took a while for me to figure out how to do it again though, because the button was different on the controller I used here and then the PlayStation 1 controller, so it's going to interesting to figure out and um, remember how to do it and you have to do it at the exact right time otherwise it'll fail there's the critical hit from Squaw I managed to let um, Chris's do that a couple of times I think she did that twice against um, Ifrit whenever I went into the uh, fire cavern. <clears throat> I really wanted to put the sound effects in. I even downloaded the pack um, with these. Uh, however, it just like every single movement has to have a sound effect or it did in the original game and that would take so long that it would take maybe a week just to do one video like that so I figured I would just keep the music in and then not do the worry about the sound but I will do the sound during the cutscenes because those are important Oh, I remember what I was going to say towards the beginning of the video, but it's been 14 minutes, almost 15 now. But Final Fantasy VIII is the very first Final Fantasy game for the PlayStation 1 I uh, owned. I got it for Christmas in the year 2000 from my aunt's. I had played the Final Fantasy VII beforehand. My cousin let me borrow it. And um, this one is the first one I own though, so 
I like the characters and the story. Um, not so much the battle system because the junction thing was boring because you couldn't use magic unless you use something outside of um, what you drew um, into the character so unless you wanted the stats to plummet you kept the magic so that's usually how I play maybe I'll try it differently this time um, for this playthrough I'm sure Christus Selfie and Renoa would be able to do the most damage for magic. Um, and then I think those three were the ones who can become sorceresses or has the potential to because they all do magic. And Christus is like a blue mage character with the enemy attacks and everything. Selfie, her. Magic attack the end is like super powerful. Almost everything, including boss battles, would end automatically if she managed to do that one for the limit break. And for each character, I try my best to do the critical hit button but I kept missing squad is the easiest of course but um when you forget which button it is it can be see there's the critical hit from uh, Christ Christus Here I should have probably changed the um, ability that Shiva learns because then I can choose which one she does and not have the game do it for me. And I think this battle is the first one where you can see a GF which I summoned Shiva so or maybe it's the one after this one it's one of, one of the two I don't remember I'm watching it back after um, recording it a while ago I think I recorded it last year maybe and I've been just trying to get the music I needed to sound as close to possible as the um, original ones. Yeah, so here's Shiva coming up. Diamond Dust. There we go. And here I go, so subscribe if you want to join Cypher's army. And I need to get this finished edited so I can upload it and schedule it for tomorrow to be released. So here we are going to the Far Cavern.